Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. All right, let's continue on. This is now about special right triangles. It's 30, 60, 90 triangles. The video after this will be a problem set where you can try to figure out the missing sides of that kind of triangle. Let's take a look. First, we're going to start with an equal lateral triangle. That means all three sides are congruent, and it also means all three angles are the same measure. And so for this kind of a triangle, we know that the angles have to be 60, 60, and 60. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a line from the top vertex and go straight down and we're going to actually make a height here and that's a right angle. And so now we have two 30, 60, 90 triangles. Can you tell why it's 30? That's right, when we divide this triangle in half equally it does bisect this angle here. So we have a 30 degree angle there, a 30 degree angle there. Alright, let's go ahead and draw this out over here and let's look at the properties of a 30, 60, 90 triangle. With these kinds of triangles we'll have a short leg, a long leg, and the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse of course is the longest side of the triangle. And because it comes from an equilateral triangle I want you to notice that here is a hypotenuse and the short leg is actually half as much. Because remember that we split this bottom side here into two equal parts. So therefore, whatever the hypotenuse is, we can split it in half and that will be the short leg. Or we can take the short leg and double it to make the hypotenuse. So if the short leg is 6, then the hypotenuse must be 12. If the hypotenuse is 13, then the short leg over here must be half as much, 6.5. Alright, also the long leg compared to the short leg is radical 3 times longer. So in this case, the longer leg is going to be 6 times radical 3, or 6 radical 3, just connected together. Alright, so here we know that the short leg is 6.5. The longer leg here must be 6.5 radical 3. All right, so the key is actually to try to find the short leg first. Double it to get the hypotenuse, or attach radical 3 to it to get the long leg. All right, let's try some examples. All right, notice that the longer leg is given, 3 radical 3. And the y is the shorter leg, so that must just be 3. Because remember, the long leg is radical 3 times longer than the short leg. Once we know the short leg, we can double it to get the hypotenuse of 6. Alright, number 8. Here, the hypotenuse is 7. So take half of it to get the short leg, so it must be 3.5. And then the longer leg, A, must be 3.5 radical 3. Alright, simple as that. Now I want you to try some problem sets in the next video having to do with 30, 60, 90 triangles. Thank you. Give me some comments if you'd like or share this with others. Alright, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. Alright, study hard and take care.